Now, trigonometric functions and graphs are one of the most underappreciated and underrated sections of the Leaving Cert course. And what I mean by that is that students often don't put a lot of focus on them, yet they, they come up almost every year. They can come up as a part A or a, a part B 50 mark question. And they're one of the few topics as well that can come up in paper one or paper two, which is interesting enough. Now, let's have a look at the Tasks and Maths module. And as usual with all the modules, really you should be starting with the worksheet. Okay, so if we have a brief look at the worksheet, and the, the worksheet is split up into three set to four sections, I suppose. Now, these three sections, which I'll talk about in a second, they correspond perfectly to the three e-learning modules that you'll find here. Okay, now we'll talk about them in a second. But really the most important section of the whole thing is the leaving cert questions. Right? So we have an abundance of leaving cert and mock exam questions in there. Let's have a quick look at them here now. So the first thing to notice is that the last time it came up is in 2018. It also came up in 2017, 2015, 2014. So as I said, it comes up almost every year and it didn't come up last year. Okay, and there's there's really two, maybe three ways that it can come up. Right, so the first way it can come up is like this, just a simple 10 or 15 mark question, which is solving trig equations. Right, very straightforward. You'd see there that's it came up here, and it actually came up twice. It came up as a um, as a kind of a, tr uh, a calculus question there as well. Right, so you see the links there with calculus. And the second way that it can come up then is as a part B question. Now this is a quite a difficult looking one here, and it is probably one of the hardest questions on, on the worksheet. But even if you looked at, at this one here from 2017, right, very obviously it's a trigonometric functions question. And by doing this module, you need to come up with a kind of a, a, an approach to tackling these questions. And even though this question looks quite advanced, and if you weren't prepared for this, you wouldn't have no idea where to start. But by doing this module, you'll have a, a kind of a set way to tackle this question and to figure out the three variables here, A, B, and C. How do you find them? Okay. Now the third type of question then, just let me see, can I find one? Is something like this. Okay. Where it's, it's not, it's used, it's more related to the graph rather than the actual, than the algebra. Okay. So there are the three types of questions that come up, that can come up. Now, if we look at this, at this module then, all right, or this, this worksheet, the, the three sections here car, kind of correspond to what I was just saying there. Okay. So the first section here is all about solving trigonometric equations. And it goes through this now at a nice handy pace. It explains things like the unit circle, what we mean by cast. And it's all leading up then to solving trigonometric equations. Now they start off as straightforward enough ones here. But then they develop down. There's a few complications there. Like what does the root 2 and what does the 3, how do you deal with those? And it all leads up to the kind of harder ones then. And things like the general solution. Okay, and things like that, right? And this kind of stuff here is the stuff that, that, that catches a lot of students. So that's what the first module is all about, okay? is just how to tackle those. And really, it is quite straightforward once you, once you get the hang of it. Now, the second module then is radians. And for some reason, when students are dealing with trigonometric, trigonometric functions, the idea of radians or when radians are mentioned, students panic for some reason. Whereas really, once you're confident with fractions and once you're confident with the with the with the original method, then dealing with radians shouldn't be much of a problem, really. Okay, so but that and that's what the whole second module is about. Okay, it's a, kind of briefly goes through the origins of radians, briefly goes through rules of fractions, and then it's similar enough to the first module in that you're just spend the rest of it solving, um, solving trigonometric functions using radians. Okay, now all of that then is leading up to trigonometric functions and graphs because that's really the kind of most important part. And that again starts off straightforward enough. Just talks about the functions, the different, the key, the key features, things like the midline, the range, the period, range, the period, and the different questions in relation to that. Okay, so that's what that. These are all notes here. But what you'll find is that this whole worksheet is is all exercises really that you need to be doing. Okay, and all of those questions are leading up to this type of question here, which is a kind of a contextual question with a with a, with a trigonometric function in the middle of it, and how to tackle that type of question. Okay, so that's what you're aiming to do. That's 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 the overall aim here is to, to be able to tackle these type of questions, right? Now, let's say now you're working through this worksheet and you get to this section on the period and you don't really understand this stuff here, right? You don't understand the notes and you have no idea how to, to work out these exercises. Or maybe you do know you do know it, but you just want to clarify a few things or you want to find the solutions of these. That's where the e-learning modules come in. Right, so this is the section. This is section three, or e-learning module three, and it's the section on the period. And what you'll find is that once you go into this e-learning module, there's a couple of ways you can approach this. You can literally go through it word for word or page by page. And as you can see, you just—it's very simple. You guide through it step by step, and it explains it explains down here what's happening. 
right? So you go through that, and the key thing is you go at your own pace. Okay, so that's that, and it's you fly through that in in a couple of minutes really, and you can go back if something doesn't make sense. You can go back, but as I said, let's say that you've got to this just this specific section that you want to find out about. Well, then you go up to the table of contents, find the section and the period, jump to that, and that'll go down through that, and you'll also get the solutions to all of these exercises on 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 the period in this case. And again, the key thing about it is that it's at your own pace that you go through it okay and if you want to if you want to go back you press back if you want to restart the whole page you click that and that 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 works out there okay now final thing as i said we, you're you're aiming to get down to these exam questions as quick as you can and if you want the solutions to the exam questions then then you go back to the home page and it's the final tab here is your solutions and it's the solution specifically to the exam questions. Okay, now this isn't inter interactive or anything like that, but if you want to jump straight to 2015 Leaving Cert, then you can actually click this tab on the home page and it brings you straight down there. Okay, and that, that it's, 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 it gives a few notes there and everything on how to solve these. And the very last thing then is when you're finished all of that, if you still have questions, right, that you don't understand something, then feel free to leave a message here and I'll, I'll answer that then as soon as I can.